in today's Good Eats, <coughs> pardon me, Danny Raditz is with us. He has his own barbecue competition team, Constant Carnivore, Carnivore Barbecue. I love that you have your own barbecue competition You want to know how to get on the team. <laughs> yes, <laughs> how do you get on that team? <laughs> taste tester. And you're joining us today, and you, of course spring's coming up. we got March Madness, people looking for some fun yep. things to have for entertaining others, and we're going to be pairing cocktails with some of your barbecue. Wow. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I actually uh, had the opportunity to cook with some of the Wild Roots Vodka with their newest flavor, which is um, Huckleberry, and it does a great job of um, providing a a uh, wonderful flavor um, from the Pacific Northwest, and I made some barbecue sauce okay. um, with a huckleberry base from the, from the Wild Roots Huckleberry Vodka. This looks really thick. I thought it was baked beans, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it's actually a, a base of the Wild Roots Vodka as well as um, apple and onion, mm -hmm. and we've got a little bit of um, Portland ketchup in there as well. Oh, um, right. And Portland then ketchup. also this pan is from a Portland company as well. Uh, Love they're it. Called, they're called Finex, and they're actually right here in Northwest Portland. And what's the meat that you're so dressing here? This is a pork tenderloin that I oh. smoked this morning. And um, I smoked it on a Traeger smoker. Oh, yeah, um, good for you. Seasoned, <laughs> seasoned it with uh, Caribbean rub. Caribbean How many hours all purpose on rub. The Traeger? So this one, I smoked it at 300 degrees. It was on just a little bit over an hour. Oh, not that long. Okay. And the sauce you're saying is a combination of Portland ketchup, apple, onion, and then the liquor? Yep. Wow, oh, it's pretty simple. Rod, give it a try, maybe. Yeah, yeah, let me, let me, uh, yeah. all right, here we go. I'm going to try one of these. Okay, Danny, Please I do. have my eye on this. What in the world is that bacon with chocolate on it? It is. Oh, so wow. this is uh, candied bacon. So with the candied bacon, <laughs> um, once again, I, I cooked with the Wild Roots Vodka. Um, I did a reduction. Is this so, legal, candied wow. bacon? <laughs> <laughs> this looks dangerously good. Wow. This so, has vodka in it also? Yes. So I did oh. a reduction with the Wild Roots vodka, um, as well as some brown sugar and maple syrup, and wow. some balsamic. And then I coated the bacon before I smoked it. So as you can see, it's real nice right. and shiny. And then I put that on the smoker and turned it into candy so it's nice and firm. And then with the chocolate, um, we melted, I melted chocolate and mixed in a little bit of cayenne for a little bit of spice Ooh, to combat, combat the, the sweetness. Yeah. Um, and then just dipped it in that, put it in the freezer for a couple minutes to firm it up, and dusted it with a little bit of uh, uh, red jalapeno. Danny, I don't eat bacon, but this I eat. That awesome. Is, like, I can't <laughs> taste the bacon, I taste the chocolate yeah, the, and the spices. Yeah, it's, it's really, really good. And Danny, chocolate. what do you say about as well? pairing, when you're trying to pair, um, you know, barbecue or a certain meat with a drink, what's your tip for that? Well, so it kind of depends on what you're looking at. If you're doing something that's sweet with your barbecue, you want to pair something that's either a little bit savory or even a little bit dry. Uh, the cocktail that I made with the Wild Roots um, tastes more of like a little bit like tea. So um, what I did step is... step over here? Yeah. yeah. Um, so right right I've got some mint and some basil and some limes in here for muddling. Mint, basil, lime. Mint, basil, and limes. Oh, I love it already. <laughs> and then we just add an ounce and a half of the Wild Roots vodka. Wow. Mm -hmm. I love the tender one, by the way. I'm just <laughs> I'm down over there. there. Yeah. I'm glad you like it, Rod. Mm. Oh, what is this called again, Beautiful. this drink? Hmm. Um, you know what? I didn't give it a name. Should we call it the Rod Hill? <laughs> sure. Sounds good. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah, he's always wanted a drink named after him. Oh. Awesome. Oh. All right. All right. Yes. Kathy, you got to sample that real quick? I'll sample it real quick. All right. So, and then we mm. dump a little bit of club soda in here. Ron's auditioning for your barbecue team. Okay. <laughs> I'm just down on my own meat. Yeah. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> Oh, Danny Raddatz, Constant Carnivore Barbecue. Thank you so much. All right, Kathy, I'll let you take us out with the setup. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Well, good luck with the team this coming season. Hey, thank you wow. very much. My next Cheers. competition is in Ridgefield on Saturday. In Ridgefield right. on Saturday. Yep. Okay. <laughs> We're back Very after good. this. Thumbs up.